Jamie, thanks. The weather is causing a travel nightmare. Lines are long, flight cancellations and delays are piling up, disrupting one of the busiest travel days of the year. And passengers have been scrambling to change their plans over the past few days. Ryan Hughes is live at Philadelphia International Airport with how travelers are dealing with this mess. How's it going, Ryan? Hey there, Jessica. Yeah, it's been a very busy day here at the airport, and the lines they're expected to pick up again into the evening. Take a look behind me. A plane just landed from Atlanta. You can see a crowd of people now waiting for their bags down here in baggage claim. But today, travelers, they have been contending with Mother Nature. According to FlightAware, about 30 flights have been canceled here in Philadelphia, but that is nothing compared to the more than 5,000 canceled across the country. It was a mad rush inside Philly International Thursday morning as thousands of travelers tried beating the storm. But by the afternoon, the delays and cancellations started piling up. I've never been down to, to what they call Jerry's World, so we figured we'd go down there, give, give the Cowboys and, and their fans a little bit of uh, you know what Philly's about. This family from Northeast Philadelphia is flying to Dallas to cheer on the Eagles on Christmas Eve. They were hoping to dodge the travel disruptions wreaking havoc all across the country. But their flight was delayed. We bought the tickets probably in November or sometime early. So, I mean, we didn't have a choice uh, with the weather. Nobody can control that. So, we're just going to make the best out of that. We were trying to escape, you know, the cold to go be with our grandchildren. And, yeah, that's not going to happen. Joyce Merrigan and Douglas Hicks are flying to South Carolina. Luckily for them, it's been smooth sailing. The traffic wasn't bad driving, and we parked okay. and. Everything's going well, and this isn't crowded. Philadelphia International says Thursday and Friday will be the two busiest days before Christmas, with about 75,000 passengers arriving and departing each day. The line was long downstairs as passengers were checking in. With the storm snarling travel, many people had been changing plans. And after seeing the snow out west, Bianca Ray canceled her connection in Chicago. I know that Chicago is going to be really bad because my first flight was going to be from here to Chicago, and I changed it. So hopefully, I don't have any delays with um, Atlanta flights. And we just checked. FlightAware is already reporting thousands of delays and cancellations for tomorrow. Now, a lot of those airlines, they are offering free waivers to change your flight. So it's a really good idea if you're flying out later on tonight or tomorrow to check with your airline before heading out to the airport. We are live tonight at Philadelphia International Airport. Ryan Hughes, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Jessica? Okay, Ryan, thanks. Let's go 